See Emmanuel there getting the Vaseline put on by one of our cut men. JJ getting him checked in. The last few little things that a fighter goes through before they step in the cage to go to war. Kind of the, the final touches to let you know now we're ready. See the Jacare, the alligator walk into the cage there from Emmanuel. Kyle Todrank, cutthroat Kyle, fighting out of war, undefeated, looking to stay that way, with a nickname like Cutthroat. Very curious to see what my man's gonna perform like. Seen him taking a nap in the back earlier, so. Very calm, cool, and collected type of guy. Cutthroat making his way into the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, your following contest brought to you by FaultBox.com is scheduled for three rounds of the Fury Amateur Series Featherweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Staying five feet six inches tall, he weighed in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Corpus Christi, Texas, he holds an amateur record of three wins, no losses, representing weapons at hand. This is the Hellhound, Emmanuel Garcia. The Hellhound, Emmanuel Garcia. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Staying five feet, 11 inches tall, he weighed in at a perfect 145 pounds. Fighting out of Evansville, Indiana, he holds an amateur record of two wins, no losses, but present the War Training Center in Texas Training Academy. This is Cutthroat Kyle Todrank. Kyle Todrank, Cutthroat. Cutthroat has not moved since he got in the cage. Here he goes, ready to go. Comes out with a jab immediately. Emmanuel looking to close the distance there, back him up against the cage, keep him from moving. Ooh, head kick, just barely misses there from Cutthroat. Cutthroat in for the big takedown, big lift, and he gets the takedown right in front of his corner. Emmanuel framing, looking to recover a guard of some sort. Leg over the top, looking to get the other foot out. He does, he recovers the full closed guard. 
cutthroat with good head pressure there. Driving into the chin of Emmanuel. A double overhooks from Emmanuel on the bottom. Cutthroat looking to work his way out and create some space here, but he's stuck. Go Got the double overhook position from Emmanuel just hanging on. Referee asking for a little action here, going to eventually ask these guys to do something. Stop. Referee has had enough. Going to stand these guys back up. Good body shot there from Cutthroat. Emmanuel fainting, faking his way in, trying to set something up, but moving in a straight line, kind of chasing Todrank around right now. Getting touched up a little bit for it. Cutthroat in for a takedown, but Really telegraphed it from far away. Some short shots now in. Chooses to drop down for the takedown. Gets the big double leg right here in front of us. Emmanuel is able to recover a close guard. Emmanuel looking to hang on again. Toe drink. Throwing some hammers here from inside the guard of Emmanuel. Hey, Mr. Owens, you're uh, riding solo right now? Yes, sir. All right. Can I join you for a little bit? I'll go for it. Short time in this round. Looks like we're going to make it out and see another one. A little short ground to pound on top here. And that's it. We'll take us to the next round. So it looks like Cutthroat, a little bit in control of this fight. Choosing not to sit down in between rounds. Instead, his coach takes the stool. Always good to let your coach have a break there. Man, nonstop action tonight, huh? Unbelievable. Constantly, yeah. Finish after finish. We like that. We like to see nonstop action. Get him in, get him out. And I was worried since we started. Normally we start like at 2.30, but, you know, we start at 4. I thought, man, it's going to be a long night, but, nope. man, these guys are delivering. Not at this rate, yeah. If this is the trend of the evening, we'll be out of here fairly quickly. Be at home in time for dinner. Yep. All right. Sunday, Sunday, night, Sunday night Sunday football. Sunday night football, that's right. <laughs> football season's back for all those football players, all you fantasy football guys. In, uh all right, here we go to the next round. Emmanuel Garcia, Kyle Todrank, cutthroat, coming out hot again. No touchy touch of the gloves. He wants to fight. Good little switch knee to the body there. Really like to see Garcia moving angles and stop chasing Kyle around the cage. Working hard for the takedown here is cutthroat, and he does get it with that last outside trip there. Do you think he's more frustrated and that's why he's charging more? I think it's a, it's a not setting the punches up situation. He, wa he knows he wants to hit him and he wants to get the shots in, but he doesn't know how to get inside. So he's just chasing, chasing, chasing. Angular steps, cutting him off, keeping him stuck in a little po a portion of the cage there is what he needs to do. That's why he's over committing to the punches and getting caught with these takedowns on the level change. So, you know, when, you're, when you get taken down and you fall over the back of somebody, you, you committed a lot to that takedown. About two minutes left here in round two. Garcia on the bottom again. You know, he's, he's hanging on to these overhooks to try and nullify the action from Toe Drink, but Toe Drink working himself to the back. Uh -oh. Back to the mount. Couple heavy shots, though, going to... Eventually Got plenty of time give too. the back up. Yeah, Garcia might give the back up. Again, we see another guy punching from the bottom. It's just a frustration thing of not knowing how to get out of this position. 
You don't punch from the bottom. You work to recover a position, recover a guard, advance your way out of that bad position. Instead of striking, that just means that you, you've given up trying to escape. You don't know how to escape, per se, and you're just going to try to punch from a bad spot now. I, this I is, would, again, the third time we've seen that this evening. I, I remember uh, many times that you worked your way out. You know, I just admire that. You you, know, you've got to get out of those positions, you know. You get stuck, and especially here at the amateur rank. You get caught with, you know, 10, 15 punches in a bad position like that. The ref's going to stop the fight for your safety so you can continue to fight, you know. So, obviously, you know, you see Emmanuel's made his way back to the feet. We're in a, 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 a kind of a clinching position here for a little bit where it looks like Toe Drink's looking to get another level change for the takedown again. Good knee there by Garcia. Now this is what he needs to do, create space, but you see how he's following him in a straight line. There's the level change which causes the sprawl again. Turn the corner and get to the back here. I was just thinking that. Oh, he's going to work himself. But he's too sweaty, I think. Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be an opportunity. We're in short time for the choke right now. But he's working for it. Not quite. Oh. But toe Less Drake. Than 10 seconds. Toe Drake in for the takedown again. Yeah, it's an accumulation of all these takedowns. It's going to win these rounds. He passes right there at the end. Emmanuel getting up, saying a few words to Todrank as he walks away there, maybe in a little bit of frustration. And it can be. It can be very frustrating for a fighter to continuously chase another guy down and just get taken down and over and over and over again. The same thing happens. But we all know that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over, over and over and over, and, over yeah. and expecting a different result. So this is something that I think Emmanuel will be able to look back on at least these first two rounds right. and see that creating some of the angles will help him to get inside rather than chasing in a linear line, in a straight line, chasing around. Good thing about that, but, it's being amateur that he's learning now. Oh, absolutely. You know I mean? We get these things out of the way now. We progress, we sharpen. By the time we make it to pros, we don't have these little gaps in our games. But that's why we're here to work on these things. He'll be able to look back at this footage that, you know, Fury is keeping these videos around for a while for everyone to watch. And he'll be able to break these things down. And we got Garcia now telling Toe Drank, meet me in the middle and let's bang. He wants to fight. He wants not to wrestle, not to grapple. Let's fight. Ooh, nice and up. he's getting what he asked for, oh. a big high kick. But uh, there was the takedown attempt again from Toe Drink. But if Emmanuel wants that kind of fight, he's going to have to earn it. He's going to have to oh, oh, nice. He's getting what he wants right there. Oh, but overcommits, and he ends up in a very bad spot now, fully mounted with his head kind of pressed against the cage. Got a little overzealous there with the power punching. I, I think, is this the first match and we've gone to the... This is the first time we've made it to the third. Uh, this is the deepest in the third round we've got. We had a minute and a half into the third round earlier and we got a finish. So yeah, we may have found ourselves in our first ever decision tonight. So we'll see. <laughs> see, it's only because you said something. Only Diego. a fury, only, it's only a fury, because baby. you said something. <laughs> But we still have two minutes left in this uh, round. We know oh, very good. Nice can happen. Toe drank on the bottom here. Oh, rolling for a little K-guard, looking for a star sweep. Love this sweep, ends up on top. But got, got to be careful not to get stuck in a crucifix here, which it looks like is going for it. Oh, not quite. He gets out, Emmanuel finds himself on bottom in guard. Some exciting stuff here in round three. Todrank starting to feel a little bit of the fatigue for sure. Emmanuel's talking to him in the corner there. <laughs> Screaming at him face to face. Did he just try to headbutt him? Todrank. Yeah, I think he's a little frustrated that he's He's being able to be taken down, and he's just going to stay in this position. Hey, but I'm of the opinion, if you've got the energy to talk in a position like that, that energy should be going towards getting out of that position, not talking trash in a Ooh. bad spot. 45 seconds, though. He's got to get up and get a finish. 
This is what Emmanuel wanted. He's got to go for the kill shot now. But again, chasing a fighter around in a straight line will only get you taken down like this. And as, as frustrated as Emmanuel may be right now, he set himself up for that. I think this would be a good learning, a good teaching lesson for him. We'll be able to go back and watch the footage. I agree. And, and be able to see that him fighting a guy that just runs around, chasing a guy like that, rather, running around like that is just going to get you taken down. you got to admire his heart, though. Huh? Oh, he's absolutely fighting to the finish. Todd Drank with a thumbs up there at the end. Drank tells him, you couldn't get up for me, and on top of that, you missed weight by five pounds. So it seems like there was a little bit of personal uh, hostility between the guys going into this. Obviously, missing weight at the professional level is unacceptable, and if you want to conduct yourself at that level, you should always try to make weight, right? It is only half of your job. So uh, it looked like Cutthroat was a little upset there uh, with that. So rightfully so, a little animosity, I guess, but it seems that Cutthroat's gonna come out and get the decision win here against Emmanuel Garcia. Looks like Emmanuel's gonna try to go uh, make amends with the coaches and say, hey, sorry about the missing weight, but those coaches don't care about I, that. I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was pretty upset about the fact that he couldn't get to that. Yeah, when Follow you, up his game plan. Yeah, a little frustrating getting taken down over and over and over again. I would imagine so. But ultimately, inside the cage, it's up to you to do something about that. And I think this would be a great growing experience for Emmanuel Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of combat, we go to the judges' scoreboards for a decision. Brought to you by Space City Collective. All three judges for this one, 30 to 27, declaring your winner by your unanimous decision. Cutthroat, Kyle Tolchin. Cutthroat gets the unanimous decision victory. Keeping his undefeated record alive, moving on to 3-0.